Hello, this is a prop review. It's actually not a prop review because I built this. So uh, that would be unfair. It's fantastic. Uh, no, this was a fun thing I built and I just thought I'll uh, show off how I made it because it was surprisingly easy. So this is the spin saw from the James Bond movie Octopussy. Uh, not one of the Roger Moore's best in my opinion, but it's still a really fun movie and it has fantastic moments. And I just thought that, so this is the, the spin saw, you see one of these henchmen, henchmen trying to kill James Bond and he also kills some other people there. And it's, it's basically a yo-yo saw. And, uh, and the idea is quite fun. It kind of rolls down and then it, it remains spinning. So it's, it's kind of properly having this system that some yo-yos have. If you don't attach the cord to the center of the, to the, to the axle, you just have it loosely around you. You remember a yo-yo, you can have it spinning for a while. And then when you do this fast movement, it, it comes up again. So it's kind of having that thing. I didn't do that. Uh, I'm not gonna yo-yo around with this on, on, on town. It's just a prop that's gonna look fun on the display. And the, the way I did it was I, um, I ordered uh, some aluminum cutouts, or should we say aluminium since we are just bond is British. Aluminium cutouts, and uh, this was actually cut out with some water, uh, water cutting system. So it's quite amazing that water with some sand in it can cut through metal. And uh, so this was out of the thin material, and then the, the blade was out of a thicker uh, aluminium and um, so this is the shape of the the handle so it just took it off and then just bent it down this kind of were turned in and became the ends and attached here ba -ba 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 -bum. and uh, then I had an extra strip of aluminium on the inside that I curved Let's take it out a little bit that I then curb uh, on the inside so it kind of became quite sturdy then these all small pieces were cut out and painted and glued on and I only glued I, I, I build everything around a kitchen table so I, I in a way use materials and methods that I can handle handle and nice. uh, then I uh, bought this little aluminium piece cut it off put, put hammered into wine corks drilled a hole and uh, then put this these screws and uh, also yeah painted a bit of bit of leather because there's been I've seen at least a couple of these original props and one of them had metal and one of them had a lead red leather it looks quite nice with the leather then there was this one little part that was actually very difficult it was this this kind of uh, what what would you call them seams or 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 or, or... yeah golden Bendy. Bendy things. Bendy things. Yeah, and I wanted to, I mean, it's properly made out of, uh, of, uh, uh, what's missing in English? Oh, gosh. We don't know. I'll yeah. write it on the screen. But I had to do it out of some material I could use. So I thought that, okay, I'll take a, an electric cable and just take the, electric, uh, the metal part out of it and just slice it and use that. But that didn't work. I didn't get it working like that. And the thing is that, also bending the 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 kind of empty sliced plastic cable part made it kind of flat well the, yeah the problem was this kind of edges where it kind of bent out it bent kind of wrongly so then i figured out the best way was to not slice it in any way use one metal cable that's kind of uh strong enough to keep i mean the, the metal is strong enough to hold the shape and i just actually bent it to the right shape and I glued it on and then I just painted it and it actually works I think quite well hmm. but this was a tricky thing to figure out yeah so that's basically it and I've even tried it a bit and it's dangerous yes <laughs> And uh, the other side I still haven't done. The only thing I couldn't do was this middle part. So I bought a 3D printer. It's not totally accurate. The whole thing is not totally accurate. It's as accurate as I can make it. And so this I 3D printed and, and painted then. Otherwise it's it's all aluminum. And inside here is a wooden... Uh, disc. Disc. 
Thank you, Lotten. <laughs> and also inside here is kind of it's, it doesn't look very beautiful inside here, but uh, in a way it's not. It doesn't have to be. And then I built this nice display, so I think it looks very nice when it's displayed in my room. And uh, I have a, I have cut pictures. You don't have to search okay. for it, darling. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, so nice nice display where it's going to be. I think that display is always an important part of the whole build project. So yeah, it was fun. It wasn't that difficult. Some parts I noticed that aren't totally accurate. This should have maybe been narrower. I've made it out of. Of, of, of aluminium, so it's a little bit different, but I think close enough aluminium. for a fun aluminium, <laughs> fun, fast build. Yeah, so anyway, this was it. Well done, darling. Thank you. And uh, what they really loves when I take, take it to bed, it's really nice and cozy there. I feel so safe. Yes. Hey, see you again with another video from Finland with Love.